former minister of education obviously we say as lambasted president bola tinubu over his escape gates saying the president would have saved nigerians what she called an embarrassment she stated this on tuesday while reacting to the certificate scandal that the disclosure of tinubu's academic records with chicago state university has caused Recall that the school on Monday obeyed a federal judge ruling, which compelled it from releasing all Tinubu academic records in its possession to Atiku Abubakar, presidential candidate of the PDP in the 2023 presidential election. Atiku had applied for a full disclosure of all the president's records with Chicago State University in the opinion that it should help his court case against the emergence of Tinubu as president. The president, however, argued that Atiku's application to obtain the record for use in the Nigerian court was a wasted exercise as it was a pre-election matter that is now statu bar. But the former vice president believes his appeal at the, at the Supreme Court contains certain prayers that need support and validation, hence, is request to the U.S. court to obtain the document. The controversy concerning the president's certificate, which has lingered for over two decades, according to Ezekwesili, could easily have been avoided if Tinumbu had done the needful by willingly make full disclosure. How so much easier it would have been for Senator Balame Tinumbu to have saved the country and people the embarrassment of this Chicago State University. CSU court's case by instantly and voluntarily asking the institution to publish its academic credentials. How difficult could that have been? How so less traumatic such exemplary disclosure to remove all doubt would have been for Nigerians, the former minister said in a statement. She lamented, like most Nigerians, it is profoundly embarrassing to feed mocking questions on this matter that strikes at the heart of our national integrity from foreigners. Our public leaders of a certain uh, gender, despite transparency, and yet it is an antidote to fiascos like this one. As citizens at the end of the 2023 electoral process that follows the judgments by the Nigerian Supreme Court, our work is cut out for us to uncompromisingly demand a roots and branch reform of the entire electoral INEC and judicial system, NJC. She vowed this is a must do. <laughs> well, uh, the reason why I'm just kind of surprised because I've been hearing some people, they call themselves Yoruba people, this and that. And it's just a shame that at this point in time, they are not talking about, oh, that uh, irrespective of how, you know, I've always been saying it, that even the so called people who are defending. Tinubu, especially from the southwest, they know the stuff Tinubu is made of. Tinubu has not even done anything for them. They've never even enjoyed anything from Tinubu. Even while he was still the king of Lagos, which of course he has really stepped aside for that because he's now the president. He never did them any favor. Even in, in the Lagos state, it's uh, not to talk of the whole entire Europe, uh, the Southwest, and I've been asking what exactly the Tinubu have they gained? They've gained nothing. Majority of them have been abusing him before now. But all of a sudden, when it come, it came to the issue of a uh, oh, Atiku came up, Obi came up. They now they started this tribalism we are talking about. They started this tribalism because you can imagine Tinubu say it is the turn of the Yoruba, you know. And Atiku himself also has always been saying, oh, uh, they should not vote for Sinubu, they should not vote for uh, Obi because uh, this, he was telling his people, it's only Obi that said, if I don't, don't vote for me because of anything. But at the end of the day, they did a manner of a uh, At the end of the day, no be shame, now nah, Sinubu they get at the end of the day. They never gained anything. Now, they are the ones who have been crying over how many months that Sinubu has been sworn in. Nothing has got into them of course he's not supposed to be like that if tinubu is a you is a is the president does it mean that uh, he has to be doing things just the way Buhari did nepotism and all of that we are of the opinion that anybody who is the president you are the president of nigeria not president of yoruba see the rubbish and nonsense thing that uh, tinubu Buhari did 
he himself is no wonder you know he, he has been bragging that he's so educated he's a democrat he's this and that but at the end of the day he's towing the line of a uh, buhari did not say hey, forget it after all you know, a did all those things and we are now asking if you think that you are educated why must you follow the same route that buhari followed why can't you talk, do something different and teach them how politics or how governance is all about the same set of people who call themselves yoruba majority of them not all of them are saying yeah they, they, it is their time let him use his time and i've been saying it this this whole thing why can't you change the narratives now even the issue of a uh, certificate they knew quite well this man used the same certificate to rule them and he didn't which they knew that it was fake now god really wants to disgrace all of them and as it stands now some of them are not saying oh we have to support tinubu now because it's going to be a letdown if tinubu if they venture impeach tinubu or remove tinubu it's going to be a a disgrace to them they don't even understand they don't even know as it is now whether tinubu is being removed or not though, the disgrace is for everybody whether you're yoruba whether you're igbo whether you're from Muru boys everybody in as much as in nigeria anywhere you go nobody no, no, nobody knows anything about whether you are you are from a uh, southwest they, nobody cares just like you don't even know what is happening in other countries you just your yubo man everybody now yubo not be everybody be yubo or yubo get different different uh, areas that he came from so also people just see when they see some a uh, black people uh, everybody's nigeria and that's why you say that there is that hatred between all other african countries they don't even like us as a people so nobody cares whether Tinubu is a Yoruba. It's affecting everybody. So this is the same nonsense that uh, we, we are talking about. These so-called Yoruba people, majority of them, we still have to put our caveats, not all of them, but majority of them, they think that uh, if Tinubu is removed today, it's to, the, it's to the shame of the Yoruba alone. It's to the shame of everybody. Let's even uh, agree that it's not even going to be removed. The shame is there. It is it is, it is well established. They even know that right now that Tinubu forged the result. The whole world is aware. So it is the shame of everybody. So nobody is going to be exempted. But for us to still have a little uh, respect, we should not be. Say- I don't understand. They are talking about a Yoruba nation. Tinubu said no send them. He has not been sending them all this way. So he, he doesn't even care about them. Somebody who does not care about you and you are not pitying him. Just like we are saying, oh, Yoruba people. No, we see say some, not all of them. Just like a, a you know, outside world there is when they see Nigerians, they just feel that everybody is corrupt. But by the time they begin to have a one-on-one relationship with you, they know that they know it is not good to generalize. You begin to see, you have to prove yourself as an individual outside this country. Even in Nigeria, we don't even see trust ourselves. But by the time you see these people, you just ah, hey, I didn't know that this person is like this. So, ah, you know the kind of uh, things that we are experiencing in this country. So when you begin to meet people, people one on one, they will begin to express themselves and you know try to define themselves that, irrespective of what people have been saying about everybody, that does not mean everybody's like that. So they think that a uh, Yoruba is uh, it is the shame of the Yoruba alone, and they are the ones causing this tribalism. All the nonsense that uh, these people did. MC Oloma, they did in Lagos at the end of the day, they, it's going to haunt them. Some of them are saying, Ah, if, 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 if I don't understand because as it is now, if Tinubu is impeached or whatever, who is going to take over? Maybe they're, of course, they're going to the second person, the person who came second, we take over the way it is. Only maybe they're going to do a rerun or uh, an election rerun, but now their problem is still Obi because they have they are telling us that Obi came third. Obi came third, but at the end of the day, they are saying, oh, uh, if they impeach Obi, uh, Obi is going to come up. Obi, that you guys have been saying that he came uh, third this time. So what will now happen to Atiku that has been fighting? Because Atiku is fighting because if, you know, paraventure Tinubu is removed, Atiku will replace just like what happened in Bayesa because the person who came second was just sworn in automatically. So I don't even know the... The, the rift between these Yoruba people and Igbo. I don't understand. If Tinubu is impeached today, now uh, Atiku Lokan, it is not even Tinubu, it's not even Obi in the first place. Unless there's going to be a rerun. But if the wait ought to happen, it's not going to happen. So it is the shame of everybody. And now, I don't understand. You are trying to say, let us cover Tinubu because it's a Yoruba person. Is that what you are teaching the younger ones? 
that you can do anything and uh, irrespective of anything your people at the end of the day even if they grab you uh, your people will just come out and, and surround and you know surround you and and support you is that what you are teaching the people call a spade a spade you must stand on the side of the truth it's not by tribe even with your tribe tribalism and with your whatever what have you gained nothing it's just really really unfortunate and so ridiculous you know i'm just trying to di- i'm just trying to digress but let's uh, uh, look at what uh, is it we silly said it is the embarrassment of everybody it would have saved us it is not a yoruba people it is not a, it's everybody in as much you're a nigerian especially when you come there abroad forget it because i know they, some of them they don't even get shame for nigeria but if you're abroad and you think that it's a uh, nobody even knows where you come from yeah, you are in Nigeria. Eh? Is it not your president that is, is this, is this? And I don't even know if they even think that Timunubu should not even be removed. I don't even know how he's going to govern where. Well because we are not going to be isolated from the world. Who is going to take that kind of person serious? Really? We could not continue with this on our tribalism. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.